Kingdom Blessings. I'm Pastor Sheila. Are you ready to be blessed, revived, and refreshed? Well, it's time for Moed Sharaga, the appointed time of refreshing. Come on, let's prepare our hearts and our minds for the Word of God. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Moed Sharaga. Moesharaga, Moesharaga, It's the time of refreshing. Ooh, it's time for the word, the word of God. Time to be blessed. And refresh for in the presence of the Lord is fullness of joy, joy at his right hand, pleasures forevermore. The appointed time of refreshing. I have one thing that I desire of the Lord, and that I will seek after. Oh, yes, I will. I want to dwell in his house forever and ever and ever and ever to behold the beauty of the Lord and inquire in his temple. I'm ready for the word of God. I want to know his heart, know his mind, hear his voice. That's my choice. I want to abide in him. Let his words abide in me. I can ask what I will and it shall be done. Mm. Let's go to the word. Come on. Psalm 66, verses 1 to 12. I'm reading from the Life Application Study Bible. It says, Shout joyful praises to God, all the earth. Sing about the glory of his name. Tell the world how glorious he is. Say to God, how awesome are your deeds. Your enemies cringe before your mighty power. Everything on earth will worship you. They will sing your praises, shouting your name in glorious songs. Come and see what our God has done. What awesome miracles he does for his people. He made a dry path through the Red Sea and his people went across on foot. Come, let us rejoice in who he is. For by his great power, he rules forever. He watches every movement of the nations. Let no rebel rise in defiance. Let the whole world bless our God and sing aloud his praises. Our lives are in his hands and he keeps our feet from stumbling. You have tested us, O God. You have purified us like silver melted in a crucible. You captured us in your net and laid the burden of slavery on our backs. You sent troops to ride across our broken bodies. We went through fire and flood, but you brought us to a place of great abundance. Hallelujah. And the note says, the writer was remembering the famous story 
about God's rescue of the Israelites by parting the Red Sea. God saved the Israelites then, and he continues to save his people today. Just as the fire purifies silver in the smelting process, trials refine our character. They bring us a new and deeper wisdom, helping us discern truth from falsehood and giving us the discipline to do what we know is right. Above all, these trials help us realize that life is a gift from God to be cherished, not a right to be taken for granted. So my beloved, my dear brothers, and my dear sisters, I come to remind you today that our trials make us better. It's like we're in fire and we come out as pure gold. Through our trials, God allows all of the impurities to be burnt out. But I want to focus in on the part that says, that last verse says, but you brought us to a place of great abundance. Even though we've been tested and we've gone through trials, God still brings us to a place of great abundance. Now, it may not always be tangible. It may not be money, but we may be abundant in grace, or we may receive abundance in forgiveness or abundance in wisdom that we gain when we go through our tests and trials, when we go through challenges of life. We come out to a place of abundance because our God shows us things that we would never be able to learn, lessons that we are able to learn and master only by going through a trial or only by going through a test. You know what they say, how can you have a testimony without a test? We can testify and give glory to God when we go through something. We can bear witness and say that God is our deliverer. God is our healer. The psalmist begins by saying, sing glory to the name of God. Tell the world how glorious he is, how awesome his deeds are. We can shout emphatically about his deeds and how awesome he is when we know that we've gone through the trial, when we know that he was the only one that could bring us out. We can shout the victory and we will worship God. We'll sing praises, shouting name, it glorious praises to his wonderful and glorious name. Hallelujah. The awesome miracles that he does for his people. Hallelujah. So let's rejoice in the Lord. I challenge you today to rejoice in the Lord and remember that even though you may have to go through a trial or a test, there's a testimony that will come forth from it. He will bring you out. He will make a way out of no way. Will you believe him? Let's rejoice in our God. Come on. Let's rejoice in the Lord. And shout wonderful praises to his holy name. Because our God is awesome, awesome, awesome. What wonderful miracles our God has done. Every battle he has won in our lives. Come on, let's pray. Father, thank you. Thank you for being God, for being our God. We love you. We bless you. We enter into your gates with thanksgiving and we enter into your courts with praise. We are thankful unto you. We bless your name for you are so good. Your mercy endures forever. God, we thank you. Father, we repent of our sins. Have mercy upon us according to thy loving kindness, according to thy gracious mercy, Lord God. Forgive us of every sin, Lord. Anything that has not been pleasing in your sight, wash us in your blood, purge us with hyssop. Lord God, take out of every wrinkle, every blemish, every stain, every mar, everything that's not like you, God. We want you and only you, Holy Spirit, oh God, shine the light on us that we would be able to see any flaw, Lord God, that whatever we need to do, that we would take the rightful steps of repenting, Lord God, and confessing before you. But God, we're thankful that you are faithful and just to forgive us of all unrighteousness. 
God, we crown you as Lord of our lives today again. We acknowledge you as Lord of Lords and King of Kings, Lord over our lives, because you are our Lord, our Master and King. We are the kingdom of God. There is no sickness or infirmity. There is no poverty. There is no sadness in your kingdom. Only righteousness, peace, joy in the Holy Ghost. That is the kingdom of God. Father, everywhere we go, because we are your kingdom, we bring the kingdom of heaven. Father, we thank you. Holy Spirit, once again, we ask that you would help us to partner with you. Teach us how to walk in the authority that God has given us. Father, you told us to be fruitful, to multiply, to subdue, to replenish, and to have dominion. Teach us how to walk in that authority. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you praise. We magnify you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Well, beloved, this has been Moet Sharaka, the appointed time of refreshing. I pray you've been blessed, revived, and refreshed in the presence of the Lord. Shalom.